Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, I was editing some videos and I was also uh, deleting old, you know, short clips that I have already um, edited and are uploaded on the channel. And, uh, you know, having a channel takes up a lot of space on your hard disk. Who would have think it? <laughs> but uh, I found this clip which I never finished I finished the doll but I never finished the clip you know I never filmed the end of it and it's very old like it's been sitting on my hard disk for a while and I don't know I just you know have been excited for other things uh, to show you other things and it's been sitting but uh, let me show you the clip Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, I got this new doll today. This is uh, Green Lantern from the DC Superhero dolls. And this is uh, Wonder Woman from the same dolls. But this is the second wave, I think. For some reason, Mattel decided that they're gonna reboot them. And from this, we went to this. You can see the head became much bigger and the body much smaller for some reason articulation is just out of of, of the window and uh, you know i didn't want to get these dolls you know for the regular price but i found her cheap and i wanted to see if i'm gonna like her honestly this face mode is not my favorite but i think i might get used to it and uh, I was wondering, can I head swap them? And the reason why I am not very sure is the huge difference in the necks. You can see how thick and white this neck is. And this one is very tiny. This body is more like the ever after high body. Well, this body is just very unique. I have no idea why Mattel decided to reboot them like that. But anyways, uh, I will show you how one of these dolls looks with all of her accessories. I do have a collection video on my channel. You can check that out. But uh, let's try. Oh, this is her outfit, by the way. She came with it. It is still wet. This is why it's still on a hanger. You know, I wash everything. Uh, if I manage to head swap them, I won't be able to put her back in her outfit. But it's not such a big deal because the outfit is not very nice. She doesn't even have sleeves. They went for the black plastic for, you know, instead of making sleeves. And she doesn't have shoes, but it's not an issue because the feet of the new body are tiny, you know, compared to the originals. I do have some of the extra of the original shoes, so, you know, if it works, I will be able to put an outfit together for her. I will do what I usually do. I do have a tutorial here on the channel that you can check out. I will wrap her head in a towel and I will use the hair dryer to heat the head so I can get it out. I will pop both heads off and I will be right back. So I did get both heads off and you can see the difference in the necks. The anchors are very similar. Of course, this, this one, the disc is thicker and it is kind of smaller, but it is not the biggest difference. The What might be the issue is this thickness here. And I'm first just going to try to force the head on and we'll see what happens if it doesn't work, I might try to, you know, use the exacto knife, maybe, and 
up the hole a bit bigger. I have done it with candles. I haven't done it with those, you know, with necks like this, but let's just first try and see where this will go. <laughs> Nowhere. Nope. This neck is just... Hmm. It might work if I hit the head a little more. So I was able to force it on there, but it doesn't really look good because of the structure of the head. I think that it will look better if I cut off a little bit of that rim and the head will be able to go lower because now her neck is too long and she looks like a giraffe or maybe like an alien because of the big green eyes. But I will get my exacto and I will try to, you know, hopefully fix her, you know, not ruin her. I did widen the neck hole a little bit with the exacto. Let's see if it will fit now. One eternity later. It's now that you have seen the five minutes that I recorded uh, you know we've been to the past and we are now back to to the now <laughs> it's a good thing that I have a di different uh, backdrop you know the the T uh, set backdrop is past now it's future but anyways uh, here is the doll in question you know the doll from that video oops anyways uh, here is Green Lantern and uh, uh, I did not only use an exacto knife, I used uh, Dremel tool and I had to sand off like for two days I was sanding off because I guess it's because my Dremel tool is kind of small and weak but I was able to uh, take a lot from the neck so I can make it thinner so the head can sit better and it's not perfect but you know at least she has articulation well the head size it's it's too big and the style is way too different uh, I do have like a big collection of these dolls and it's the collection that uh, Let's say is I collected together with my boyfriend because these are the dolls that he likes the most. The most active, let's say. And uh, he helped me to get a lot of uh, these dolls. He, you know, went on eBay and searched and bit and stuff like that. I'm terrible at bidding. I just... I will remember that today at 6 o'clock I have to... Uh, go and buy something or bid for something and I will sit uh, and you know go around the computer for the whole day and I will try to you know do it and uh, minutes to six I will forget and I will sit down and uh, dress those or draw or um, wash the dishes or do something else and in uh, six or six when it's you know six minutes too late I will be like <gasps> I had to bid for that dough and I forgot, that's me. And this is why me and eBay, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my boyfriend uh, helped me a lot to collect these dolls. I do have a collection video and I will show you at the end uh, some, you know, some footage of my collection. But anyways, bottom line, I am happy that I was able to uh, basically articulate her and put her on original body, you know, from that line. Uh, by the way, this uh, dress is from a skipper, so the DC superhero bodies fit skipper outfits very nicely. Uh, the pants are from a made to move Barbie and the boots are from, you know, from these dolls, from the first 
Original Wave. She's a cute doll, but I'm more of a fan of these dolls. So, you know, I wanted to finish that video and to, to share it with you because she's a very interesting experiment. I'm sure that people uh, who thrift have found both of these dolls. Uh, I know... Um, I know several YouTubers who, you know, find these dolls and have found both and have wondered, you know, if this can happen. It can, but it's super hard. You really need to send the necks because the necks of the of these original dolls are very uh, thick and they have like, like a bow shape uh, and uh, also the heads have like very deep... Uh, holes for you know for for that ball like part of the neck and I'm not talking about the anchor I did show you I think on my original video you know how different the necks are but it looks like you need to sand a little bit but you need to sand a lot and it took me you know forever but I'm happy with her and she's sitting you know in my collection she is the weird one. <laughs> she is taller than everybody else because she has a huge head. But oh well, she's cute though. Um, you know, it's been a while and I still haven't made her an outfit. I was considering to make her, you know, green lantern outfit, but seems that I don't have um inspiration to do it. So you know, she is the green lantern, but. I guess in her casual outfit or something. <laughs> All right. Um, this was it. I just wanted to get this video off of my chest, let's say, because again, I think it's an interesting experimentation. You can do it. You can head swap them, but you need to, you know, do a lot of work. Would I buy more of these dolls? I would, but only if they are super cheap. Like, super cheap. <laughs> Otherwise, no thank you. I really like those ones and I do have a few left of them that I need to find. But I will have to employ my boyfriend again because I think the best uh, place for me to find them is on eBay. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I am really working hard. On this channel I want to you know I want it to grow I want to attract more people I want more people to see the videos uh, this is why I, I am speaking in English I otherwise am a Bulgarian doll collector uh, if you're new hi I'm Ellie thank you so much for watching and uh, I promise you uh, to come back within a day or two with another video so you can press the subscribe button and come back for another video and also I love 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 uh, reading comments and you know just interacting with people and talking dolls with people so if you you know if you like these dolls tell me you know if you like the reboot more tell me why you like them more um, if do you actually have these dolls probably or are you just you know someone of my regulars or did you just randomly click on the video let's have a conversation in the comments and i'll see you then and you know i'll see you there in the comments and within a day or two for another video bye for now